Hello. Hello, hello. And welcome to Entrepreneur Talks Podcast, Nora Aljami. Nice to have you here. I'm so, so, so delighted and grateful for your presence. Thank you, my dear. It's my pleasure. Thank you, my sister, Nora. So thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Yeah, it, this me is a too, lovely me, friend of me. mine. I'm so glad that we are going to connect and talk about art. So like I was saying, this is a lovely friend of mine that I made a few years ago. It's already two years or so, right, Nora? Yes, yes, and of... yes. It's almost two yeah. years and more, my, my dear. And I'm very pr- grateful because I'm bringing her here to share her story and her, just whatever she does, she does with her heart. So this is very, very, very good. And we're going to be live, Nora, on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter right now. And then we're going to be on podcast, Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcast, and so on. So welcome and welcome, welcome. Welcome, uh, welcome, my dear. Uh, you're welcome. Bye, bye. I, I, uh, you interview me because it's a pleasure. Number one, you're my inspiration, and you are a, a, a person that I'm proud that I know you. Oh, great! Thank you, Nora. Tell me, where are you talking from? Right now, I'm talking from Kuwait. It's uh, my country, and we are oh, in the man. Middle East. We are an Arabic country and Muslim country. Oh, amen. Alhamdulillah. He's like that, right? <laughs> I love it. Love it. You speak Arabic and Muslim language. Shui, <laughs> shui. <laughs> so, Nora, uh, in three words, could you describe yourself? Is possible? No, uh, I'm a painter, professional painter. Really enthusiastic about art in particular, painting, drawing, designing, sculpting, sculptures, uh, and... Uh, in my mind, the, the beauty about art is that it is more spontaneous and serious at the same time. So you are a spontaneous person, for sure. Yes, yes, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So you already said that you are a painter because what is, how long have you been doing? How long have you been on painting? Tell me well, a little bit about since, your story. Since I was three years old, uh, my brother asked me, what are you going to be? And I told him I'm going to be an artist. Wow. I, I didn't know even the word what it means, but since I love painting, all my school teachers in the kindergarten and uh, elementary and the secondary and uh, high school, college, everywhere, they used to uh, praise me and uh, encourage me to continue this career. And I'm glad that I did. Yes, I know you are You are very talented. I know. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, my <laughs> Really, I really know because I've, I've seen and I've touched a lot of, lot of your art. So uh, I'm sure. I'm that- so touched, my dear, because it's not about being humble. It's being, realizing the art itself. Mm-hmm. You can't measure it. And people um, know art in the field and the social media right now that you cannot judge. All what you can do is appreciate. That's so true. Yes. And when you're painting, we're gonna go. We're gonna start with painting because yes. I know you do more than that. But when you're painting, what is your feelings? What kind of feelings do you? <laughs> I started at drawing the um, the life life um, images, which is life is still life which is putting the vase and uh, the carpet and start oil painting and designing everything in details. Then Mm -hmm. I met uh, my ideas, which is expressing, expressing my feeling, what is inside uh, to represent the idea. Sometimes ideas come from imagination, sometimes feeling, whether it is mood or anxiety, uh, anger, peace, sadness, happiness, whatever it is, I use the emotion to express what I feel. That's why I need to be fast because I use acrylic colors. I use, I use have to be fast and precise. Otherwise, the whole painting will be not a perfect painting, not successful. Oh. So you mean you need to be fast because you're feeling something you want to put on. on express on it. The... Yeah, express my yeah. feelings on canvas. Yeah. So um, one day I started this painting from 12 o'clock afternoon until 5 o'clock uh, dawn, which is a.m. 
and I finished to three meters by one meter and a half. Wow. I finished it all. <laughs> and it was very, very, very beautiful feeling. I cannot express it. It made yeah. me feel confident, made me feel uh, brave. And what all the fears that I was worried about just on Thank campus, you. and I ignore it. That's it, really good. It is true, true that art gives you confidence, give you patience, make you achieve more. All what you have to do is trust the process. So do you feel that uh, while you're painting, you, you heal yourself? More than healing. Wow, beautiful. Uh, some people said, uh, which is psychology, one of my coaches said, if you hear music in your uh, ear and painting during painting, that's 5% of the population. 5% of the population listen to music while painting. That makes you very smart and maybe a genius. I'm not complimenting myself, but that's what it says. <laughs> it is, it is. There we go. There is different forms of painting, right? To create yes. art. So you yes. can be smart, you can be listening music, or you can be in silence, or you can be talking. Someone can be talking and you just boom, 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 boom. It just exactly. depends on how you're feeling, right? It's the yeah. feeling. Sometimes I read a novel or a book or something and I can see the images and start drawing small images and then express what I feel or imagine through that idea from the book. Reading is good for as a resource for information or ideas. So no, it takes your imagination away from all the stress that we live. And when it comes to your type of painting, how do you designate, designate your painting? Because it's abstract, is a it is, is a uh, abstract impressionist. Uh, when you okay. use all the energy to express yourself. Jackson uh, Bullock, he, he started this uh, imagination and using art so fast and all this color, splashing colors. Mm -hmm. I call it splashing colors. But Jackson Bullock started in 1940s and he made that movement uh, all the way to until now. Actually, right. some, some people enjoy abstract and imagination and all the, all the artists did that, but Jackson Bullock made a distinguished distinguish movement about uh, using the colors different way. And his uh, paintings uh, sell right now 18 to 20 millions of dollars. So just a curiosity, where did you study? It was in Kuwait or you, or you traveled to another country? Both. I study educational technology in Kuwait. And also I went to MICA, which is a, a university in uh, uh, Maryland. I study, uh, I study design, jewelry design. Wow. And of course I took many courses in Kuwait. And um, it's more that it's like self-education, self-practice, but right. I yes. believe I studied a lot. It's development, growth, develop, development. It's ourselves. never end, my dear, it's never end. That's right. That's very important because we keep ourselves empowered. So let me just check. I think we got some sh someone asking. Oh, someone is saying. Yes. Oh, wow, Nora. Oh, wow, Nora. Might be Melanie. your friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's from London Clinic. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so she... <laughs> Stephanie, I know Stephanie. I know her. Okay, I know who is from ICU. That's beautiful. Thank you so oh, much. Wow. My Thank dear, you, she Stephanie. is an amazing person. I wish I can talk to her. <laughs> you left behind a lot of people that love you a lot. She said love you and she put uh, heart. Yeah, thank you, Stephanie. But let's go back because otherwise we feel emotional here with this. All this <laughs> <laughs> I was ill for a while, and people might, might not you know about your audience. I was ill for a while, for a long time actually, and London Clinic saved my life. And you, Yola, as as a nurse and as a coach, you saved my life too. You guide me through. So thank it's you. not easy to be strong and a fighter. Believe me. I know, I know. But here we are, and okay. it's, it's gone. So we are strong now, brave. Of and course, brave. yes. 
I know the Nora that I saw and the Nora that is here now and is so amazing. It's so it's so inspirational for myself. You say I'm your inspiration, but you are my inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm more than proud about that. It's a, um, it's a pleasure to say that, but I cannot explain the words, believe me. Um some people give you give you ch- uh, kindness, empathy, um, generosity, but if you explain it by one word, it will be unfair. Yeah, I understand. So you were saying now, let's go back. You were saying yeah. that about painting. <laughs> you study in Merlin jewelry design. That's correct. Yeah, Merlin jewelry design. Okay. Yes, MICA, which is Maryland uh, Institute College of Art. And that uh, university, there is master de- bachelor degree, master degree, and uh, PhD. I study just courses, few courses, and that three three courses, three levels, made me feel that I can c- capable of designing handmade jewelry or wow. even sketching and designing for other people to go in the uh, workshop and design and implement what I designed for them. If I talk about it, it's more like wire wrapping, uh, stones and elements that you embedded with this, with um, the jewelry. If you want to put diamonds, to put gold or put copper or, or silver or whatever you want. The process is not the design itself, but um, how can you paint it and draw it and go from step one to the end, Fantastic. which is uh, very interesting for other people. If you if you see the world of jewelry, it is rapidly growing. Yes, yes. Then the how I say is not. I don't know if it's called organic jewelry, but it is like handmade jewelry. Is growing. Handmade jewelry and there is organic too because they use clay. They use um, some kind of uh, plants, flowers, or even use wood. Fantastic. They cut and, the wood in a shape and make it as a pendant. And if every person has his own imagination. And with that said, you have your... Or you and have, I also tell you that I studied educational technology in Kuwait also. I didn't tell you. Well, educational technology is a bachelor degree. I study multimedia, videos, photography, and audio. But when you talk about it right now, multimedia and social media are connected in one field. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm late. I'm back because I studied this in 2015. <laughs> Not everybody know what I'm talking about. So I'm oh, trying yes. to upgrade myself too. Take time, but you will get it because you already... Yes, achieved because so the eldest year, I stopped me for six years now. Yeah, you already achieved so much. So thank you. Do thank not you so worry, much. you will get there. But without with with that said, I was about to ask you: Are you building up your company, or you you are ready on the process? How is going on? What is the process is going because uh, it's need the uh, basics, and oh. I'm I'm trying to establish first a website and all the you know YouTube channel, and then go from online, then grow. Uh, of course, if you want to sell, if I want to sell my art and you buy it, and anybody interested by my work, he will get through Amazon, and that all will all will be arranged through the website. Wow. Other things, I, I want to write a book about my story, which is biography. Right. It is yeah. not an easy story, believe me. I hope it could inspire somebody. Mm. I would love to bring your story one day here, but we know we. Thank you, Sala. Yeah, Sala. Let's hope so. Let's hope because so. Because it's a really brave story, and I think it will move a lot of people. Yeah. By the- also, um, next year, which is 2020, I'm going to say next year, this year, uh, June, inshallah, I hope, uh, hopefully, I will um, establish an exhibition. Oh, that's and really good. I'm about to establish and publish more than 40 painting, and they are really good and original. Oh, wow. In Kuwait, right? No, I hope for London. Oh, I'm hoping. That's good. That's really yes. good. So that I means... Will, and we'll call the galleries and ask them. Inshallah, June will be fine. So that means you're going to be here? Yeah, because... Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> will be there. 
Oh, of course, it depends on COVID. Um, we will hope too yes. much. We'll pray too much. So now, that. Nora, can you describe behind you is a frame, is a painting? What is that means? That's my painting, and I have this, uh, too much colors, and I was um, ready to paint, but there was an exhibition in Kuwait, an art association, art association uh, um, in Kuwait, of Kuwait. They uh, wanted a painting, so I wanted to finish so quickly. In two hours, I finished this painting, and there is another one say, similar to it. If I explain it, if it will be emotions, like strong, angry, maybe sad, maybe worried. happy, maybe worried, everything. And if you explain it sometimes to children, the, the children will say something and the adults will say something completely different. It's all Boy. about the recipient. He explained it for me more than I explained it to him. Mm. But I know you have some paintings in your pose, like uh, uh, yeah. with you now. You would like to share. Could, could you share and explain? Uh, explain this is a painting. This is a painting one I made in London Clinic. Wait, oh wow! Let me show you this way. Yes, yes, we can see. Okay. Cool. Okay, and and this painting is hanged in London Clinic. I proudly say that London Clinic accepted my gift, and I'm so happy. <laughs> That's beautiful. Do you have any 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 more? Sure. Yes, this one. Oh wow! I love your paintings. You know that. So it's beautiful. I just wonder and, and what one of them is. This imagination, Shreya, more touches. This mm -hmm. I use fingertips. Oh. Yeah. Really? Techniques, just, which is just daps. Oh, wow. Do you normally do you normally listen music, right, Nora, when you paint? Yes, of course. <laughs> I couldn't do anything without music, and it's supposed to be loud. And what is your time for painting? Mostly yeah. after midnight. Oh, really? Yeah, really? I can't stand uh, living uh, in an area full of lights like um, sunlight. I'm um, an owl, if you say so. I like to stay up late and all enjoy the whole the studio to myself, paint, color, everything, and music. Oh wow! So that night, that means like when you so do you do you rest? Is is very important that we take time? Yeah, to rest. I do rest, but for mm -hmm. me, it's crashing down more than resting <laughs> after <laughs> five hours continuously i just relax and take the whole days just sleeping and wow. if you see my painting you consider that this is a hard job because it's like it labor. Is. this is a everything, difficult one. everything we what is done uh, is done with passion it's a hard job it's a hard yeah, thing. it's exhausting it's it's your a, energy it is passionate, but you have time, you have hard work because you love and you want to do something good. So yes, it takes yes. time. And of course, it will exhaust us. We need to rest. So that's why I was asking if you do rest, how do you do? Because it's essential to have this time. It's work. normal for me to yeah. wake up late. It's okay because I'm retired. I don't have a job right now. I'm just retired since I am adjusting my career and working hard and uh, for me it's baby steps and i recommend that for anyone who was in um, a trauma or a problem don't rush yourself take baby steps which is step by step you will get there some people yeah. even say micro steps nobody will judge you or blame you if you can just listen to your heart listen to your body you're the one who can judge yourself not others that's so true Slowly but slow, so uh, surely. Was, you know, not I was thinking slowly but shui shui. <laughs> <laughs> shui shui means little by little. Yes. 
<laughs> because it's very important. That's well said what you just, yes, you yes. just said. It's very important. You don't need to show off to someone and anyone else. You just yeah. go by your step. And by people step. nowadays they appreciate art, appreciate everything uh, like you're doing. You're you're creating something from nothing. Creative thinking is not easy. And when there is everybody, students, um, adults, uh, children, even I know a, a young girl who her her she's six years old and she's a brilliant artist and her parents uh, encourage her to continue she's american i believe mm -hmm. and she's very famous all around the world and she expressed herself with color she used red and blue and green and i like that you like yeah you like that you like that i do have a jewelry i didn't prepare to have it here but I do have your jewelry. And oh my God, thank you. That, that's <laughs> nothing we should share on my dear. I, uh, I will tell you after online. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love every time. I remember that time when I used to go into the room and there we, there we are, another painting or another jewelry. And it's so amazing. <laughs> I, I really admire people when we are creative and we do the things with love because the preparation you have, uh, like you were having to create specific things. I remember you asking, um, what color well, do you like? What yeah, kind of I, thing? How is the shape? What, da, 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 blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to answer, but, but believe, I like believe, purple. Talent, talent is not required. Believe me, so many people could learn art. I can teach them. Everybody is a teacher can teach art. But the yeah. question is, can you persist? Can you keep committing? Can you practice every day? That's the question. Yes. If you if you ma practice every day, you master it, no matter what it is, art or not. That's so true. And Nora, one thing, uh, if someone wants to buy your art, like mm -hmm. your, your painting or your uh, jewelry, how they can reach you? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Just request the approach, uh, purchase and uh, dm me and i will be glad to send the painting if if it's possible uh, through the dhl or any process okay. so i do i do know i do have your uh the screen. nura merzug nura merzug 77 instagram yes and the other account instagram also is nura merzug al ajmi and this book is uh, nura al ajmi well, yes, everything is on the description of this podcast because yes. every platform will have this information. So anyone that is interested to check Nora um, art. One more thing I would like to add, uh, Yola, please, yes. if I may. I didn't do this art without my parents and my family, especially mm -hmm. my mother and fa father and my sister, Movi. You know her. She is yes. an angel and she's inspirer. She's a leader, actually. She's a very strong leader. I yes. love her. Yes. And then people can reach the description of the podcast and check your Instagram. Every, yeah, please, all please. information about Nora is there. And get in touch. Just check her pages. Please. Uh, find her art and buy if you love it. Don't feel afraid. Just reach her and you will be amazed by the amazing art that she has you know in her power and i'm really expect expecting no i'm praying that you're going to be here in london like stephanie as well she said, she left a message she said we we have one of your paintings it's beautiful and we thank you again for making this for us nora you are full of surprises and oh, look geez. forward to your exhibition in london so she will be there as well, <laughs> like me. We're going to be inshallah, here. Inshallah, okay, I will. We will get together, inshallah, soon, because it's all about this um, timing, which is COVID. Yes. But yeah. we can fight this situation, inshallah. Yeah, we will. With God there. prayer. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, Nora, keep going. Keep Thank doing you. slowly but surely. Shui, shui. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't give up. Uh, don't look back look front and think you've done so many things already that you're going to be doing much more and i'm looking forward as well to see your channel on youtube so teach teaching people 
to how to draw or how to paint because you are a master. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank God, God bless you. God bless you, my God bless you too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care, my love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This. Oh.